This is my Transformers video review on Transformers Chronicle CH01 G1 and Movie Optimus Prime set. And this is my very, very, very top favourite Transformers Chronicle CH01 gift pack featuring G1 Optimus Prime, who is my favourite character in the very, very, very first ever Transformers TV series, along with Movie Leader Optimus Prime who transforms into a pizza-built 379 truck. And um, at top here, you have G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form. And there's Movie Trilogy Optimus Prime. And um, you've got the um, Transformers Dark of the Moon logo on the right. And the original Transformers logo in English on the left. I can tell that this logo has been originally popular since 1984. And I'm real glad it got me two Transformers Chronicle CH01 Optimus Prime sets. On this side of the box you've got some movie um, Optimus Prime tech info. Again written in English and not in Japanese. And there's the movie class leader Optimus Prime, Autobot Commander, because he transforms into a Peterbilt 379 truck, as I've said in the middle of this video review. And that's the Autobot symbol, the movie trilogy um, version. But not red, but the Autobot symbol looks real cool. This is a real cool box art of G1 Optimus Prime, because the G1 Optimus Prime box art here has blue eyes, which is based on the Takara 2002 New Year G1 Optimus Prime reissue released in Japan as an e-hobby exclusive. You've got the um, tech info at the top here, based on the 1984 original heroic Autobot symbol, but again based on the original 1984 Transformers TV series and toy franchise. It looks real cool. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to buy, like, two Transformers Chronicle CH01 Optimus Prime sets in case I decide to keep one set in robots form and the other set in truck form. At the top here, at the top of this box, you still have the same Transformers Dark of the Moon logo along with the Transformers um, Chronicle logo written in Japanese whilst the words Transformers Chronicle in white is written in English. Got the blue Takara Tomi logo at the top. The original Transformers logo in seen blue, white and red with the heroic Autobot symbol which has no heroic Autobot term words next to the Autobot symbol. At the top here, he's got a picture of G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form with his bloated fists and bloated gun. And if I ever manage to keep an eye for two um, G1 Optimus Prime sets with his bloated fists and bloated gun, like the one in this photo, I'll be sure to do some video slideshows on it and some video reviews on it and take some pictures of it for um, my own um, Facebook page, Twitter page, Twitpic page and MySpace page as well. I mean my, my own MySpace page. If I manage to keep an eye out for two G1 Optimus Prime originals in robot form like this one where he has his Bloated fist and bloated gun. I'll be sure to take some photos of it and put some, some of my own photos of him on my own MySpace page, Twitter page, Facebook page and YouTube slideshows. And there's a picture of G1 Optimus Prime in his robe, Frightliner 202 truck form with no Autobot symbols on them because he's attached to a um, deluxe DOTM MechTech trailer because this photo here is a bit of a prototype. Now I've been managing 
Now I've been struggling to translate all of this from Japanese into English. So if anyone who is Japanese um, can please help me um, translate all of this from Japanese into English, I would be very, 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 very grateful. And the same with all this lot as well. At the bottom of this back of the box, at the bottom of this box, you've got picture of. At the bottom of this box, you've got a picture of Transformers: Dark of the Moon leader Optimus Prime Deluxe version, where he has a different sort of mech tech weapon. Only this time, his fright not fright line two hundred two truck form. Sorry, his Peter built three seven nine truck form is attached to his own trailer, like the one in the movie. And I have to say, it looks real, real cool. And on this inner flap, you've got G1 Optimus Prime and Movie Leader Optimus Prime, along with Green Movie Ratchet, along with the original G1 Ratchet version. This other flap, you've got G1 Ironhide, along with Movie um, version of Ironhide, though the Movie version of Ironhide is coloured black. On this um, other flap, You've got G1 Bumblebee, along with movie version of Bumblebee. Now these are the stickers that I am not going to use on my Chronicle CH01 Optimus Prime sets, because I'm keeping stickers like this unused. These are instructions that show you how to transform Optimus Prime from his robot form into his Peterbilt truck form. Though this is the, um, this side of the movie version, and you see, um, at the bottom of these instructions, they show you how to use Optimus Prime's mech tech weapon, though this kind of mech tech weapon only comes with the Transformers Chronicle CH01 Optimus Prime set. And on the back, shows you how to transform G1 Optimus Prime, aka G1 Convoy, from his robot form into his Freightliner 202 truck form. The pegs where his heels are have a little hole in them, like his Bape G1 Optimus Prime counterparts released only in Japan. And the only difference between this trailer and the G1 Optimus Prime trailer is that this picture on his instructions show you which sticker goes where on G1 Optimus Prime, but I'm not going to use the stickers that they came with. And you see the picture of um, a person's um, finger rubbing back and forth on the um, secret emblem to reveal um, which um, transformer is what. Now you see the person's finger rubbing back and forth on the heat sensitive rub shine. Shows you which transformer's faction it is, either Autobot or Decepticon. Kind of like the G1 reissues, along with the G1 Vintage Originals and the Hasbro Classic Voyager line versions. Now you see the person's finger rubbing back and forth on the heat sensitive rub shine. Shows you which Transformers faction it is, either Autobot or Decepticon. Kind of like the G1 reissues, along with the G1 Vintage Originals and the Hasbro Classic Voyager line. This double sided poster shows you all the Autobot leaders of the ages. They've got um, G1 Optimus Prime aka G1 Convoy along with Rodimus Convoy aka Rodimus Prime, Fortress Maximus, God Jinrai, Star Saber, Diaxlis, Star Convoy, Convoy Missile Trailer, Battle Convoy, Convoy Bat, Beast Convoy and my other favourite um, character in all of Japanese Transformers Beast Wars, Lyo Convoy, Metal's Convoy, um, along with Beast Wars version of Powered Convoy, Big Convoy, who transforms into a mammoth, along with Super Fire Convoy, Armada Convoy, Grand Convoy in his Super Robot form, along with Returns Convoy, Galaxy Convoy, along with the um, Binaltech version of Convoy, holding a pink surfboard in the form of a sword, along with Melissa Fairborn. Kiss Player's version of Melissa Fairborn on his shoulder. Plus you also have to Galaxy Convoy, you have Kiss Player's version of Optimus Prime holding a pink sword that transforms into a surfboard and you have a Kiss Player's version of Melissa Fairborn, the chick with blonde hair, sitting on Optimus Prime's shoulder along with a Nike version of 
Optimus Prime who transforms into one of the Nike trainers along with the 2007 movie leader Optimus Prime along with Henke Convoy, Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, Animated Optimus Prime, Laser Optimus Prime. Next to Animated Optimus Prime you have Optimus Prime Cybertron mode along with Optimus Prime Earth Vehicle mode because they're both from the Transformers United line released by the people of Takara Tomy and Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. You have the Decepticon poster where Megatron is holding his laser rifle and sword. You have Galvatron next to G1 Megatron along with Scorponok who are known to the Japanese as Mega Zarek. Next to Scorponok you have a Transformers Headmasters version of Scorponok aka Black Zarek with no transparent see-through visor. Next to Black Zarek you have Overlord, Deathsaurus. Next to Deathsaurus you have G2 Megatron along with Megatron Missile Tank, Megatron as a jet. Next to Beast Megatron Transsource version you've got a crocodile version of Megatron named Megaligator, along with Beast Galvatron, Magmatron, Returns Megatron, along with Metals Dragon Megatron, along with Gigatron, Armada Megatron, Transformers Super League version of Megatron named Galvatron, along with Returns Megatron, Master Megatron, Master Galvatron. Next to Nike Megatron, you have Henke Megatron, where he transforms into a silver sci fi gun. Revenge of the Fallen Leader Megatron. Alternity Megatron, Animated Megatron, Megatron Cybertron mode. Along with Dark of the Moon Megatron. Now, this is Optimus Prime in his Peter built. 379 truck form attached to his trailer. I can tell that this is a deluxe version. And the people at Hasbro decided to do a um, movie trilogy series Optimus Prime version, though his windows are blue and they had to make some different adjustments. So to transform from his Peter built truck form into his robot's form is real simple. First of all, we separate these two sections like this. Come up to his rear wheel section. Bring, it, bring this piece down like this to form one of his legs. Do the same thing on this side. Come up to this section. Bring up these two trailer door posts. Did I say trailer door post? I meant trailer posts. Rotate these two sections 90 degrees forward to form the feet. Close up these two wheels together like this. Come up to this section, rotate it downwards like this. But before I do, come up to this section, bring up his front wheel section, rotate it up, rotate it downwards to begin with. Come up to the back section, open up these two sections, bring his arms down. Come up to these two door sections, swivel them around so that they click into place. Bring up his shoulder sections, raise his arms upwards. Turn this whole section around so that the windows are facing you. Then come up to his grill section and bring it up like this by rotating it 180 degrees forward. Put Optimus on a flat surface like this, bring up his arms, come up to these two sections to bring up the head, and there you have Optimus Prime in his robot form, and he looks real, real cool. What other points of articulation does he have? He's got some articulation in the shoulder joints, elbow joints, articulation in the head, Articulation in the knees and the thighs. Limited articulation on the waist. 
and he also does come with his own mech tech weapon. His mech tech weapon here um, pulls his lever like this and look, it forms a cannon and then back to his laser gun. Laser gun, cannon. Laser gun, cannon. Laser gun, cannon. Back and forth, 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 back and forth. Like this. Another great way you can also attach his mech tech weapon is either here, here, or here, which is real cool. And you can also open up his trailer by opening up his back door like this, and then opening up this section like this. And it looks real, real cool. You can also place his mech tech weapon into any one of his two hands. Well, his right side, actually, or on his left, whichever way you prefer. Now, this is the G1 Optimus Prime truck we all know and love. But, in 2011, in honour of the cinema release of Transformers Dark of the Moon, he has a little peg hole here for this trailer. So place, so find a little peg hole, place both peg hole and peg together to G1 Optimus Prime and you have G1 Optimus Prime driving a mech check trailer. And he looks real, real cool. Now G1 Optimus Prime here looks real cool because you've got the chrome long smokestacks which are painted in silver colour along with silver coloured chrome oil tanks, upper legs, silver chrome wheel treads, silver chrome headlight, silver chrome grille and the silver chrome bumper along with the transparent window, the windshield and his feet are made of die cast metal, got rubber tyres and the rest of this toy is absolutely awesome because it's made out of plastic. You've got the heat sensitive um, rub sign at the top here. Now to transform G1 Optimus Prime, simply rotate this section 90 degrees downward so that his feet are um, pointing down, and then rotate his feet 90 degrees forward. Come up to his headlights, rotate them vertically 90 degrees forward, unhinge these um, smokestack sections, and swivel both of them around so that the Autobot symbols are facing you and if you um, want to rub his um, heat sensitive rub sign in other hot areas um, whether it's um, during the summer you can do and just give it a nice good rub to see if it's Autobot or Decepticon Autobot or Decepticon give you guys a little bit of a quick close up See if it's Autobot or Decepticon. Yes, it's an Autobot. Zoom out quickly. Then rotate this head section upwards. Like this. And then what you also do, add these little um, fists into the little peg holes of his headlights. Like this. And there you have... G1 Optimus Prime, aka G1 Convoy. Just adding his um, bloated gun in there. What can I say about G1 Optimus Prime? He is real cool, and again, he is a real must for all Transformers G1 fans. And he is also a um, Transformers collector's holy grail. And he looks really, really, really cool. This is a Transformers Chronicle video review on Transformers Chronicle CH02 G1 and Movie Megatron set. And this is a must for any Megatron fans. And I can tell that um, has a picture of G1 Megatron at the top, along with Dark of the Moon Megatron at the bottom. And you've still got the same Transformers Dark of the Moon logo, along with the G1 Transformers logo, and this time it's got a Decepticon symbol, which is in seeing blue, white, and purple.
And on his left side of the box, you've got Megatron's tech info. Same G1 Megatron tech info as his 1984 counterpart. You've got a G1 Megatron box art picture here, along with a G1 seen blue, white, and purple coloured Decepticon, like the one from 1984 and 1985 and the 1980s. Especially the G1 reissues. The top here you've got the, um, the same Transformers logos along with the Transformers Chronicle um, logo written in both English and in Japanese along with the blue Takara Tomy logo on the left hand side of the top of the box. On this side of the box got some Dark of the Moon Megatron info along with a live action um, photo of Megatron and a Transformers movie trilogy Decepticon symbol. At the back of this box shows you um, the origins of Megatron though the, um, the stock clip on Megatron's heels are not featured in these two photos because G1 Megatron's um, was the P-38 um, pistol and G1 Megatron's robot form are both based on the Takara 1986 Goodbye Megatron set. And if I manage to keep an eye out for the um, two G1 Megatron sets with no stock um, clips on his heels, I'll be sure to do my own vid video reviews on them at some stage in the near future. And I'm still having a bit of trouble translating all of this from Japanese into English. And if, again, if anyone who is Japanese and knows um, all about um, this, can you please um, uh, write it down for me um, in Japanese so that I might um, translate it into um, English at some stage in the near future? Because I would be really, really, really greatly, gratefully appreciated. And the same for um, the... Dark of the Moon Megatron um, origin tech info as well. Awesome picture at the bottom where G got an awesome picture at the bottom where Megatron in the, where Dark of the Moon Deluxe Megatron is in his robot form and his Mac um, army truck form. Though his truck form is identical to his um, live action um, counterpart. On this flap you have. Dark of the Moon Megatron at the top, G1 Megatron at the bottom here. This flap you have G1 Shockwave who is known as Laser Wave as the Japanese already named Shockwave um, before, before Shockwave even showed up and there's a Dark of the Moon version of Shockwave here. Top of this flap, you've got G1. At the top of this flap, you've got both pictures of Starscream. At the top of this flap, you've got this flap. This flap shows you photos of G1 Starscream, who is so eager to overthrow Megatron as the Decepticon leader. And you've got a Dark of the Moon version of Starscream at the top. Plus this flap also has dark, this flap has Decepticon, both Decepticon symbols, movie trilogy version and the G1 version along with Transformers Chronicle written in both English and in Japanese. Now these are stickers that I am not going to bother using. Now these are the instructions that show you how to transform Dark of the Moon Deluxe Megatron from his robot's form into his Mac truck form, though he does have um, a Mac tech weapon which goes at the back of his trailer. This picture here shows you how to use Megatron's Mac tech weapon if you so desire, and this bottom part of his instructions show you how to transform G1 Megatron from his 
robot form into his Walther P-38's gun form. And this picture of his, on his instructions show you which sticker on G1 Megatron goes where. And you've got some a secret um, emblem symbol which is a heat sensitive rub sign which shows you which Transformers faction is Megatron. Either Autobots or Decepticon. Well, many Transformers fans already know that Megatron is a Decepticon. Now this is Megatron in his Mack truck form attached to some sort of oil tank trailer and at the front of his truck you've got some um, razor sharp spikes like the one in his movie version along with um, some silver um, bars um, covering his um, headlights and grill and you've also got some of the word Mac um, in between his two um, razor sharp spikes at the front of his trailer this piece um, covering um, this section like the one in the um, in the movie and to transform Megatron from his Mac truck form into his robots form it's real simple to start off with we take off this piece put that aside and take off his mech tech weapon again put his mech tech weapon aside come up to this section open up his legs like this open up these two panels this panel here and this panel here open them up bring these two sections out like this wrap these two sections like this then what you also do come up to this section flip it up come up to these arms bring them up put a bit come up to the section bring these pieces down turn this section around but before I turn this section around bring up his smokestacks upwards and then turn them around and as for his oil tank sections we turn these sections around to form his knees and lower legs by swiveling up these two sections and always make sure that this piece is staying upwards come up to his wheel treads on the back not wheel treads sorry his back wheels and then click these two pieces into place so that this section and this section click together do the same thing on this side, turn this piece around, bring this piece upwards, bring this left feet up, close these two sections together like this, put them on a flat surface like this, and what you also do to make it more easier, take off these two sections in order to bring up these two sections apart see Megatron coming them together and these two pieces already on a ball joint bring up both of his hands Swivel these pieces around to form his shoulders, come up to his number plate section, clip them two into place, bring his number plate section apart, and then what you also do, bring up his head section, and then click these two sections into place, like this. Try and keep the Megatron on a flat surface. And then put these spiked sections into the right place, like this. And then what you also do, swivel these two sections around, clip these two sections into these little holes, like 
this. And then come up to his cape section, if you so desire. So roll this piece um, upwards. Clip this piece into this little hole, like this. And there you have, there you have, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Megatron in his robot form. And if you so desire, you can also add this um, mech tech weapon by swiveling up this back piece, like this, placing it into one of his two hands, or in his hand like this, so it looks like he has a arm gun. Or if you so desire, push this ladder piece down like this and watch his claws um, shoot out. Slightly turn his ladder section like this so that his claws on his mech tech weapon are locked into place. And there you still have Megatron in his supreme attack mode and he does have various points of articulation because he's got articulation in the knees, the waist, the shoulders, the elbows and the hands. Oh and especially the head because Megatron's eyes and Optimus Prime's eyes both have light piping. Now G1 Megatron here is based on the Takara Microman Microchange Gun Robo while the P38, which is released way before Transformers even arrived. He's still got G1 Megatron in his Waltha P38 gun form and he's still got his heat sensitive rub sign. Let's see if it's Autobots or Decepticon. Autobots or Decepticon? Yes, it's a Decepticon. And this um, toy itself is not only based on one of the Microman Micro Change. Gun Robo, but this is also based on the 1986 Takara 19. This is based not only is this toy based on one of the Takara Microman Micro Change Gun Robo mechas, but it's also based on the Takara 1986 Transformers G1 Goodbye Megatron set. Though the Goodbye Megatron set has um, no no stock um, clip on his heels like these ones. And if you so prefer um, to add, keep. And if you so prefer to um, get um, rid of this um, section by finding the right screwdriver, you can do, because in a way you can also convert. Um, in a way you can make it look like he, but in a way you can also remove his um, um, sc um, scope um, section by finding the right screwdriver and make it look like he has an ordinary Walther P38 um, pistol. Now his trigger has a um, trigger shooting um, mechanism but, but mine cannot shoot out um, bullets because it's got a little um, um, white um, plug, safety plug or an orange safety plug um, only in America to try and make it look like a, um, a toy gun. Now for this um, version, um, G1 Megatron has painted Decepticon symbols here and on this side. So to transform Megatron, we simply bring down his this section. To transform Megatron, we simply bring down this section, open these two pieces apart to form the legs come up to these two sections to form the feet which are made out of die cast metal plus his upper legs are made out of die cast metal then what you also do come up to this section bring his section down to form his head split open 
these two sections where the safety catch is to form his arms. Bring up his arms by pushing up these two um, levers to fill his hands. Bring up his arm section. Always make sure that his arms are level. And what you also do, come up to his bowel section and sw swing it 90 degrees vertically. Bring up this section where the bullet's hole is. Then come up to his back section, swivel it around, close up his leg sections, and bring up his um, bowel section so it's facing you because it's got a white um, um, plug at the top. Once you've got the um, the gun barrel facing you and and the Decepticon symbol on his chest facing you, bring up both his arms, bring up both his arms and his face this way and here he is the evil Decepticon leader himself G1 Megatron G1 Megatron has um, his feet made out of die cast metal along with them um, his um, upper legs which are made out of die cast metal along with them um, the shoulder um, these two sections which are made out of die cast this section made out of die cast metal and this other section made out of die cast metal the entire um, se toy section is made out of plastic and you've got um, the, um, the face of G1 Megatron and what else does Megatron have weapons and accessory wise? simple, he has his infrared laser rifle which you can also place in here now you've got G1 Megatron with no weapons Apart from his gun barrel, it, you can also um, fit his fusion cannon in, like this, if you so desire. Still got Megatron ready for battle as he's about to conquer the universe and plant Cybertron. Because Megatron's evil plans is dead simple, because he's up to take over the universe and destroy Earth, especially bringing Cybertron to his to its knees, which is not cool for Optimus Prime and the Autobots. Plus Megatron also has an infrared laser rifle, like this. You can also fit his infrared laser rifle in, like this, and his chrome sword in his other hand like this. So that Megatron is now armed for battle. The people at Hasbro decided not to go with the chrome sword because of the um, sh other sharp points and they also took up the trigger mechanism as well. And the people at Hasbro back in 1984 decided not to go with these red pellets because they might some um, Take, not only would they take someone's eye out, but a little child could choke on them. And so, there you have G1 Megatron.